progress doesn't have to start with an empty bowl. If you're like me, you love eating. And the thought of eating chicken and broccoli every day makes you die a little bit inside. Today we're gonna go over some of the foods I eat while losing weight that also satisfy my appetite for eating. So let's just jump right into them. First, before anything, any food can be considered low or high calorie, depending on your ideal portion size. The foods I'm listing here are based off of a serving of 200 calories or less, and that serving is what I believe to be a good amount of food. Sample size, me. With that, number one, we might as well start the show with it, popcorn. A cup of this has only 35 calories. This right here, that's 200 calories worth. If you eat it like I do, it'll take you all day. No, this isn't your standard 17 squirts of butter movie theater popcorn. It's just regular lye popcorn. Still tastes great, however, and you won't need to wash your hands for an hour after eating it. Number two, Jell-O, which is actually a brand, and other people make this stuff, but I think most people just call it Jell-O. 200 IQ marketing. Anyways, I'm talking about both flavored gelatin and instant pudding. If you don't like or won't eat sugar-free things, then this one isn't for you. But for those who don't mind that kind of thing, this whole bowl of flavored sugar-free gelatin is only 80 calories. And this whole bowl of instant sugar-free fat-free pudding is only 140 calories. You can make these both in minutes, mix in protein, fresh fruit, nuts, or anything else you want. Do I eat sugar-free, fat-free things all the time? No, but if I'm trying to drop some weight and the cravings hit, then it's game on. Number three, shirataki noodles. I think I'm saying that right. You can find these almost anywhere now in either dry or wet form like this for only a couple bucks. Since they're mostly made up of water and fiber, they contain almost no digestible calories or carbs. Not too bad for a pasta, right? Being mostly made up of water, they probably don't sound that appetizing outside of the great macros. But I assure you, as long as you prep them correctly with, say, your favorite spices, they're actually pretty good and do a great job of hitting those pasta cravings. You can find shirataki in the form of rice, angel hair, fettuccine, spaghetti, and so on. Number four, the highly underrated and underappreciated protein fluff. I've made a couple of protein fluff recipes on this channel, and every time that I remember it exists when I'm trying to drop some weight, I get excited. A giant bowl of this fluff is like 200 calories, and it's mostly protein. You can make it in minutes, and you only need a couple ingredients. If you've never tried it, it's worth at least one go, especially if you've got a big appetite. Number five, soup. This one is pretty self-explanatory if you think about it. Water, broth, seasonings, and so on barely have, if any, calories. Sure, there are calorie-dense soups, but those aren't the ones we're looking for. This whole bowl of garden vegetable soup is only 180 calories, and it's packed with both protein and fiber. Add in four ounces of some chopped up chicken, ground beef, tofu, and you've got yourself a pretty solid meal. If you don't like soup, then... No soup for you. Number six, salad. Yeah, you probably know that one already, but for those who don't understand what I'm pitching, this is 80 calories worth of salad. That's a lot to eat. Add in some protein, a lower calorie dressing, a couple of tortilla strips or croutons, you'll be eating for a while. Number seven, zucchini. See this thing right here? The things you can do with this zucchini seem to be endless nowadays. Get your head out of the gutter. You can make noodles with it, lasagna, and even pizza like we've done on this channel before. From my experience, everything that I've had made with zucchini has actually been delicious. Did I mention this whole thing only has around 50 calories? Number eight, trail mix. No, I'm not talking about peanut butter, chocolate, caramel, cookie dough crumble flavored trail mix. I'm talking about ones with dried fruit, seeds, beans, you get the idea. See this trail mix? This would be a single serving of 140 calories. The fats and the nuts fill you up and the dried fruit makes the portion size much bigger. Don't forget that you can add in stuff to your trail mix too, like some dry roasted chickpeas, or even some crushed up sugar-free cookies, for example. This is one of my favorite snacks. So there are a couple options for all of you with an appetite like mine. If you have any other ones you wanna share below that you think might help someone else, then come hang out and drop a comment. With that said, smack a like on this video. If you want more like this, subscribe and hit the bell to turn on notifications. So I show up in your sub box, type a word that rhymes with zucchini in the comments to help out channel engagement. Check out theproteinchef.co. And of course, stay healthy. Type a word that rhymes with the...